Um, we also had smaller rigs there that actually did the initial uh, you know, borehole that discovered the miners. And, and it wasn't us, it was our customers. Uh, they were called to you know, come, and there were at least five of our customers out of the seven that were there. So we had you know, lots of equipment, and one of them just happened to be the guy that, that got the right place first. Um, and, and we have now an employee at that site uh, you know, 24-7 covering the rig, making sure that when things break, and they break all the time, uh, that, you know, we're quick to get it back together and, and get after the task. And, and as of this morning, I think they're at 320 meters on the 28-inch uh, uh, borehole. So they've already drilled a 5.5-inch borehole, a 12.5-inch borehole, and now they're opening it up to 28 inches, which is what they'll be able to put the man cage into to extract the miners. Very difficult uh, process, very challenging technically. And, and you know, we build equipment. We, we couldn't drill that borehole. Uh, well, some of our guys could take a shot at it, but I sure couldn't. Uh, the, the, the real story here is it's, it's the meeting of the technology with the uh, experienced personnel. And there's only, you know, there's only a handful of people in the world I want would want drilling that borehole because it's really difficult drilling and it's part, you know, it's science but it's also art and it's experiential. So uh, it's, it's a challenge. And uh, that rig in my hands is, is all but useless but in the hands of the right guy it's, you know, like a master violinist with a Stradivarius. They can make it sing. I'm probably from the school that says you do it and then you know you adjust to, to whatever realities you face. But having said that, I took some time this morning and um, I, I went to the number one source in the world for all information, the wiki, and, um, and I found the definition of strategic planning, at least the first sentence. It went on, as you would imagine. Um, so strategic planning, determine the steps required to reach an objective that makes the best use of resources. You know, pretty good statement there because it is about resource allocation, it is about setting a target, and it is about, you know, really the tactics of how you get to that. So I also, uh, I, I, um, I like words, so I wanted to know where the word strategy is derived from, and it's actually uh, uh, from a Greek source, and I'm not going to get it right, so it basically looks like strategy to me, but, uh, But essentially what that word in Greek means is office of the general, the command. And I'm sure you've all heard the, uh, the quip that, you know, wars are won in the general's tent. Uh, you know, implying that it's the planning that takes place that wins the war, uh, not necessarily just the tactics. And I've been unable to verify the origins of that piece of wisdom, so if anybody knows it, please share it with me afterwards. I did put it out on the wiki question this morning to see if somebody will answer it. Um, so the, the strategy is, is really not about how you are going to fight the fight or the strategic thinking, but it's about whether or not you're going to fight it at all, uh, where you might fight it, and perhaps on what terms. And you know, my first exposure to strategy was playing that game when I was a kid in the 70s, Risk. You know where you take over the world? I love that game. I mean, <laughs> in fact, I was thinking I need to go out and get another copy of it so I can take my family on. But, uh, you know, I, I think I, I got to live some of that game last year uh, in late 2008, 2009 when the bottom fell out of the, of the world. And, and I just came back from two weeks in Australia and I can share with you that the Australians, as usual, have uh, re reduced this event to an acronym that it took me about three days to figure out what they were talking about, but they kept referring to the GFC. Anybody know what the GFC is? It's the Great Financial Crisis. So uh, when you read it in the Wall Street Journal, when Rupert Murdoch catches up to it, you'll know the origins of it. Um, but the, 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 the essence here is to uh, understand that uh, in order to 
have a shot at executing a plan, you have to have a plan. And uh, the, the, the work that we do with uh, Harold Floyd from the DVIRC is, you know, the, the, the straightforward uh, strategic planning where you're saying what are the assumptions, uh, you know, what are our strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, uh, what's our objective, uh, what's the state of where we are today, and how are we going to close that gap? which is when it gets reduced into to actionable items. And, and we've done this now. Uh, I, I've done this process myself uh, you know, at SRAM. I, I did it uh, at Ingersoll Rand. Uh, what, what Harold or uh, the DVRC brings to the process is have a third party there. Uh, let me participate as opposed to facilitate. And, uh, and then challenge, you know, challenge the conventional thinking that's going on in the room, uh, which is, you can imagine, you know, we, we're a bunch of guys that have been together for a while, so we think we know what we know, imagine that. Uh, so, you know, having that third party is, is really critical. And, and what we worked on, I don't know if that's all that, that interesting, but I'll, I'll get to the end and, and talk a little bit more about that. But one of the things that uh, I've, I've read recently that, that uh, sort of uh, synthesizes to me uh, my own experience, which was from uh, Clinton, uh, yeah, Clayton Christensen, who's written the Innovator's uh, Dilemma and Innovator's Solution. And one of the things he talks about in strategy is that there's deliberate strategy, which is what I just mentioned, you know, make the plan, go after it. And then there's emerging, or, or emergent, I guess he, he uses that verb. And emergent means that uh, you know, perhaps you have a plan, but uh, in the field of play, things change and other opportunities arise. And his admonition is, is that don't keep piling your resources into the plan that you have. Don't get married to your ideas. Keep your eyes open to what's happening on the field of play. Call the audible, make the change, and it'll be a discovery process, which I would also say is what Jim Collins says in Good to Great, or in Built to Last, perhaps, that it really is a discovery process. It's part of it is knowing who you are so that when you face the opportunity, you can seize the day. Uh, and and, and uh, I think it's Clayton, uh, gives the example of, of Walmart. Uh, Sam Walton you know, built a store in the town in which he lived. And when he built the next store, he just went to a town that was nearby and did the same thing again uh, because it was logistically uh, efficient and managerial efficient. He didn't know he was building the big box store for the small town uh, that was going to take over the world. Uh, it's a great illustration of uh, you know, discovering uh, you know, what, what your strength is. Uh, again, I'm not going to, uh, the more fun part about this is where these rigs are. This is in Kazakhstan, actually, uh, and drilling uh, gold for the, uh, uh, the Norlisk Nickel, or Norlisk Nickel, I think it is. Uh, so, uh, you know, here, here's a, a bit of a story as to, uh, you know, our experience. And, and that is, you know, we had five years of, of tremendous growth, uh, grew the business to 105 million from, you know, 30 million. And then uh, uh, the fourth quarter of 2008, uh, the sky fell. And, and literally, it was September, we booked uh, seven or eight rigs. And by October the 4th, we were saying something's, you know, something, something's going to happen as we go of all this financial crisis. And we didn't get another order for months. Uh, so it was a, it was a real uh, a taffy pool uh, to figure out how to survive that. And uh, you know, the, the, so we, we, in January, we laid off a third of the workforce. Uh, no choice. It was either that or uh, perhaps do something you know, less desirable later on. Fortunately, uh, and, and I'm not new to this business, so I can tell you right now, uh, in fact, one of our, our board members is here, and he can attest to this. 